Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new to my channel and I upload beauty, bible, and lifestyle videos here every week. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back with a very long requested hair tutorial video. And so I'm starting you here at day seven, which is the day that I wash my hair. And I'm just giving you this close up of how gunky my hair is because I actually have a product that helps us get all of that gunk off and it is this wonder crown that you can pick up at Sephora. Alright you guys, so as you can see right here, I'm really making sure to massage that deep into the scalp because we really want all that buildup off of our scalp. Okay, so obviously once we get that all worked in, um, we are it is time to get into the shower. I know you're supposed to use lukewarm water, I'm not taking a lukewarm bath. So we're using the hot water, we're just going to get our hair wet enough to lather up that treatment, that um, crown treatment and we're just gonna get that sudsy and make sure we're scrubbing all of that out all right you guys and so now that we have that crown treatment rinsed, rinsed out we are going in with the Rin Pure biotin and collagen shampoo you guys take my shampoo and conditioner with a grain of salt because I am always switching this out I am always switching it out for the most natural most affordable shampoo and conditioner that I can buy in the jumbo size even though I only wash my hair once a week and so does Brian but yeah, take this part with a grain of salt and I really do try to focus the shampoo on my scalp and not so much my ends. And you can see we're just going to go in and scrub that scalp. Alright you guys, and now we are on to conditioner using this Ren Pure Coconut and Vitamin E conditioner. Again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm just showing you these parts specifically for the way that I apply it to my hair and wash my hair. So now with the conditioner, I'm really going to focus this mainly on my ends. Mainly on my ends and then I'll take whatever is left over onto my scalp part. And I also use this opportunity to kind of brush through all the tangles with my fingers. And remember, when you wash your hair once a week, you are going to have a ton of breakage and that is normal. So I forgot to mention during conditioning, I kind of let it sit there for two to 10 minutes while I shave and wash my face. Now that I am done and out of the shower, and yes, I do wrap my hair in a towel. No, it's not super healthy. We are going in with first the Shea Moisture Detangling Spray. I really like it because it has like a lot of hydrating things in it and it's more on the natural side. And then I go in with this Heritage um, Argon Oil and it just really helps add more moisture in. But this, the Argon Oil, I'm focusing specifically on my ends. And then after I add both of those, I go in with my little brush that's basically like a bunch of combs put together and I will brush out my hair and it, it makes the process super easy and you'll see the brush just glide right through my curls. And now that our hair is all moisturized and brushed out, I do like to go to bed with it in a braid and I don't do a super tight braid and there's only a ponytail holder or trungle, whatever you call it, at the very bottom of my braid. All right, you guys, and now it is the next morning and we are getting into styling. So obviously I'm going to take the braid out and then I am gonna go ahead and go in with a spray bottle. There's nothing in this spray bottle but water and just re-wet my hair so that way it's a little bit easier to work with, but I don't want it soaking wet because I want the gel to actually work. All right, you guys, and for gel, I am taking these Aunt, this Aunt Jackie's Coconut Curl Cream Curl Boss Gel. I have gone through at least three or four of these containers. I love it for my hair. I love it for my boy's hair. And first, we're going to go all over our hair, so just kind of slick it back and then run our fingers all the way down to the very tips and then we're going to split it down the middle and start working on either side and then after we split it down the middle and get gel on both sides of our hair we're going to section it again right above the ear on one side of our head gel both sides and then go to the other side and gel you know part it right above the ear and gel both sides and we're just going to repeat it and then i had actually ran out of my aunt jackie's curl uh curl cream gel so then i had to switch to my emerge gel and this one worked really great too 
I just still prefer my Aunt Jackie's one. Alright you guys, and once we have gelled our hair from every angle possible, we are going to go in with this Zoto's All About Curl Spray. I use very little of that just because I don't want my hair to be super crunchy. And this is what it looks like when it's completely wet, but I do show you guys what it looks like completely dry. Alright you guys, so here's the clip where my hair is 100% dry, completely dry, there's no more moisture, like no more, it's not wet is what I'm trying to say. And so we're just going to take two bobby pins and this is typically how I style my hair. But honestly you guys, I just showed you guys this for funsies of how easy it is to style curly hair and make it look like you tried really hard when you didn't. Just side part, twisty one side back, bobby pin it, twisty the other side back, bobby pin it, super cute. But um, yeah, and I pretty much just repeat these steps every day until probably about like day five, six, and seven, I'll finally stop putting product in it. And that's when my up, like putting my hair up in a bun or braiding it actually starts and not on like day five, six, or seven. But on the rest of the days, I do wear it down, you guys. All right, you guys, that is it for my hair tutorial. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>